Okay, second video in this series of Gravity Sketch, and this one is all about now doing the block out. So we've done uh, a line drawing, and now we're doing a volume block out. So let's do a new layer. And our first layer will lock it and bring the transparency right down. Now there is a problem there. As you can see, it's put the artwork on the same layer. So we've got, we, what we might have wanted to do is put our artwork on its own layer and then start a new layer. So if that's a problem for you, you can delete that artwork out. So unlock it, take that artwork and just move it onto a new layer. The easiest way of doing it is just delete it out like that and just grab it. And then obviously we bring a new layer in and then we can just go and bring it back to our art and we'll go back to bringing it in and we just bring exactly the same one in. And now what we can do, now we know how to do that, we can bring that in and that one in and lock them. So back to the layer and lock that layer as well. So what we might want to do is move that layer to the top out of the way and it's locked anyway. So it's, you know, if we, that, that's just the artwork on its own layer now. So layer one is the wireframe, as we know, um, and we want that quite transparent and then lock it. And now we're on the third layer and now we're gonna do some volume. So what's the volume then? So we need this brush down here, custom volume. And all this does is make shapes like this. They're not refined, they're not rounded, they're not, you know, they're not gonna be any use other than a block out. But what it will do, it'll allow us to make some really cool shapes that we can use over and over again. So for example, where I would use this is, we might want to make something that becomes the tail. So the tail's made up of vertebrae, as you can see. So what we might wanna do is make something like this rough shape that's going to roughly give us the the, the volume of the um, vertebra collect all them pieces together and what we can do is if you hit the purple button on your non-dominant hand it'll join them and they would now make a really nice start of the vertebra so we can then just take that and with um, holding it with your dominant hand you can move it down and just by Tapping with the trigger and scaling it a little bit, we can then do repeats. So I'm doing it manually. It would be nice to have this automatic, but I'm just doing repeats down the line. And later on, when, when, when we get to do this much more accurately uh, modeled, this obviously would be, you know, it, 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 it would be a lot more detailed. But for now, say, for example, we want to extend the end of that out a little bit press the blue button zoom in and we just pull some of these points out a little bit for now like that and that gives us the spike on the end of the tail it's not a good one uh, but but it's more than enough for what we want and that's given us that tail in a quick block out so that's worked for us so now let's go and um, start with this neck area and because we've got the line underneath us we've got plenty to work with there so these are some parts of the ribs here um, just undo that and just go back a little bit. And then we can use repeat again, just to make that shape work for us. And then a bit more of the body, make that shape work for us, like so. So we've got a nice bit of volume, so we need something underneath. Again, very, very rough. It, you know, all we're doing now is getting the, the actual physical shape together, because we're then gonna use that as a, as a reference later on. So we need these spikes in the middle. So we'll just do them like so. And bring one, two, three, maybe some small ones in there, I don't know. And then maybe that same piece could be used to do a bit more complexity in the neck area. If we want all that neck to be one, grab it all, hit the purple button, that's now one piece. And now it is two because it's across the, the, the symmetry because we haven't frozen that. What you could do is you could take all of them, snap them together, all of them, and then all of them, all of them, and all of that. And that makes one piece now. So that, that would be, I'm undoing with the red button, remember, and I've just snapped it all together. So that's now basically one model. Um, and if that's working for you, then why not do the body the same? So get all of the body, 
and snap that together so we're now only working realistically we're only working with a couple of pieces again so let's line it all up that looks about right i think for what we want the neck obviously would come back in like so yep it's roughly about right so let's just bash out some of these limbs so we now need to make sure we're back on the right tool so we need something that would be the oh <laughs> i've gone to the wrong tool haven't i so i went from volume back to stroke so we need this hip area here the thigh some of the muscles again make sure it looks good from different angles and um, it's not an accurate tool it's not you know we're not trying to make this the accurate part of the of the modeling this is a way for us to to you know to really kind of work out the overall volume of the, of the of the piece so i'm not looking for accuracy beyond the fact that it shows one of everything so we'll just bring all of them together purple button all of them together purple button and now a bit of the foot something like that and then what we might want to do is this so we we'll make one toe or one claw something like that bring lots of it together and then we'll bring all that together and then we can just repeat that as the toe you can see there that that works and now it's not looking good from a different angle so maybe we can we can just bring all of them together yeah there we go and just move it in a little bit more in line with what what we're expecting so the, you know the foot can be a lot further back like this it can be like this um we can move you know we can un unlink it if we wanted to change it a little bit we can scale it up and down you know, by the individual parts whatever whatever's working for the, the the current part of the design you're doing it might be that it's too far that way now so it might be something like that maybe even a bit more of this heel it's kind of almost got a stiletto heel hasn't it so we might want to rework that once we've once we're confident with the model something like that so do the same with the arm so put that in its place something like this and then a hand and then we can do the same again with the fingers we just make one finger that we use as the repeater grab it all and then one two three and a thumb grab all of them grab all of them maybe a bit more here like more of a shape around the shoulder something like that and there we go and now we've got the the the, the big part the, the the head the traditional alien queen head so it just has to be um something like this specific shape all of the detailing will be done later on we don't need to think about any of that we're just thinking about what what is this overall shape looking like there's the jaw and then there might be the traditional alien the bit that comes out something like that this is going to be the head doesn't look too alien just yet but not overly worried at all as i keep saying we will be making that and using this as the guide but there you have it that's pretty much but barring you know re really sort of like going in and making these a little bit more accurate uh, which you do not need to do then that is enough of a block out for us you know to work with if you want to if you really like the pipes that are in the alien um, you can do things like this so you can go to stroke and you can then bring in um, I'm, I'm making that bigger and smaller with my thumbstick going left and right so we can bring that up here like so and it gives us another way to make volume like that so you could do we've done that there with um, a mixed input mode it's called you can do it with points as well so if you can watch here I'm just dragging out points like that um, and then tapping the blue button and it finishes it so i find this one can be quite useful for organic creatures especially if they've got more wires and pipes and stuff like that you know the leg for example could have been done with that 
gives it a much more organic feel to it doesn't it so I'm just adding that to the group every time I do something and then if you want more underneath it's sometimes good to do something like that because it gives it a much more of a flow and certainly for an alien character you know something like this is is useful you can tap it again blue button again you can move those points around and you can even um, you can make it like a right angle like that if you want so that that can be quite good for limbs um, so for example if you want to do this arm again you would go arm like this so you take that button there pull down push up on your thumbstick and it'll go to that um, uh, you know it'll go to a, a right angle like that and that one you, you could do that with um, you could change the settings again so we could say something like um, just use the mixed input mode again and now we could draw the volumes like this and that looks much more accurate um, for, you know for certainly for something like like this is looks much more like something called Adobe medium which is a, a, a voxel tool um, but but it gives us a nice you know it does give us a, a little bit more of a, an organic shape if that's what you wanted to do but remember we're only blocking out we're, we're not going to use any of this geometry at all this is only for lining stuff up so it doesn't actually matter if I use this method or this method it's whatever suits you for being able to um, you know to make this uh, as, as, a, uh, as a reference model so so now let's go on to some of the actual modeling so I'll actually delete this hand I think and I'll use this one and I'm going to repeat it so we'll bring it round like that and then make it a repeat for the inner arms like something like that or even bring them up so you can see them a bit more and there you go that's the block out of the alien queen um, and it doesn't take very long at all does it it's not it's not something that you can take hours and hours over and you get a really nice effect quite quite easily i hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content and if you like it enough to give it a thumbs up then why not subscribe to the channel down below and help us grow as a channel have a great week everyone